What? What, what, what? What the hell is this? Harumph, 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 harumph. I didn't get a harumph out of that guy. Give the governor harumph. Harumph. You watch your ass. I see you shiver with anticipation. Let the show begin. Hey everybody, this is David Heretic coming at you with another edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. And tonight... Tonight! Okay, making his debut on the channel tonight... Tonight! We have Bill McClintock. Yes, indeed. How about that? Bill McClintock making his debut on the channel. Before we go any further, for those of you who are feeling inclined to do all the clicks and the likes and the bibbity booby bob, do me a favor, before you do all those things, please watch the whole video first, okay? Give me a chance to earn those clicks and likes. Now, after you've done watching the video, if you still feel like doing all those clicks and likes, then by all means, feel free to click away. This comes as a request from Lynx R Us, and Lynx R Us want to see me react to this. It is a Bill McClintock mashup of uh apparently we got metallica and huey lewis in the news being mashed up here together and the name of the track is james Het <clears throat> james hetfield in the news with a tune called hip to be the sandman now have i heard this song before uh kind of uh here's the thing so this is a mashup between two songs apparently it's a mashup between enter sandman and hip to be square now I have heard both of these tunes, okay? Enter Sandman without question. I am so sick and tired of hearing this song. I I cannot tell you how many times I've heard Enter Sandman. I'm beyond over it. I'm beyond sick of it. Uh, Hip to be square. I know I've heard the song before. I, I know I have, and it does sound familiar. Uh, I can hear, I can kind of hear the chorus in my head. I, I don't remember the verses though, but it, it's been a long time since I've listened to Huey Lewis in the news. Let's be honest here. Um, no, but I, I have heard both songs, clearly, uh, but I've never heard this mashup before. So, to be clear, and to make sure there's absolutely no confusion here, I uh, will not be reacting to, evaluating, or scoring anything to do with the original songs, okay? Just to keep that in mind, because I'm very familiar with both of those songs, I cannot take them into my reaction, I cannot take them into my scoring either, so... Please keep that in mind. I will only be reacting to, evaluating, and scoring what Bill McClintock did with these two songs to create this mashup. How smooth is it? How creative is it? How polished is it? Does it sound good? Is it a good idea? Listen, not every mashup is a good idea. So we're gonna see what Bill McClintock does with this. Um, This was posted by Bill McClintock, okay. <laughs> And the video has 1.2 million views. It'll get you there. Other than that, there's really nothing else left to say. Link to the original video will be down below in the video description for your viewing pleasure at your leisure. Let's get started. What do you say? Are you ready? Are you ready? Because here we go. All right, here we go. James Hetfield and the news. Hip to be the Sandman. Mashups are always very hit and miss. So I've heard some mashups that were absolutely horrible. And then I've heard some mashups that were absolutely brilliant. So I'm I'm not sure where this is gonna go. We're gonna find out right now. All right, let's do this. All right, boy, let's do this. <laughs> Something's wrong, something light, baby, that's tonight And the 
This is fitting like a glove. Now I, I, I can hear, I can hear the speed up in the vocals. I, I can hear it. It's, it's not, uh, it's not like in your face. Like, oh my God, they sped it up like you know, by, by double speed. You know, it's not. It doesn't sound like you know Alvin and the Chipmunks. But I mean, you, you can hear a little bit of tweaking with the speed. But listen, if you want your mashups to line up. You got to do what you got to do to make them line up. I mean, he could have left the vocals alone and hadn't been slow and it would have not, it would have, he would have had to do a lot of cut and pasting to take out the pausing in the vocals to make it fit so everything would, you know, somewhat line up. So look, he did what he had to do um, to make it fit. I got no issue with that at all. I, I, I am finding this very entertaining. Um... I think the reason I find this so entertaining is because I so vehemently hate this song, Enter Sandman. So to see it being cracked on like this, I am absolutely digging. <laughs> absolutely digging this. Um, I wonder what Metallica would say if, if they saw this. I wonder what James Hetfield would say if he saw this. I'd be curious to see his reaction. I don't know if he'd be upset. I mean... I think early, I think like 90s James Hetfield would be pissed, but I think modern day James Hetfield, I think he's so over himself now. I think he's, I think he's so over, you know, his look and his, you know, appeal and everything else like that. I think he's far more relaxed. I think he takes himself far less seriously. And I think he would honestly, if you were to show this to him today, he'd probably get a kick out of it. He probably would. Anyway, um... Very creative, very well done. Let's keep going here. That's Megadeth. That's Peace Cells. They didn't stretch in that. Just to be clear, that was not Metallica. That was Megadeth. That was Peace Cells. I wonder why they didn't put that in the name. Anyway, I mean, it worked. I mean, I, I, it was a nice surprise. I wasn't expecting to hear anything from Megadeth in this. In particular, Peace Cells, which is one of my favorite Megadeth songs. That bass line in that song is just killer, man. I love that. I love that bass line. Um... Interesting, very interesting.
had some surprises in there. I was not expecting Megadeth, and I was not expecting Judas Priest, but I recognized both of those guitar solos. So, that was a nice little surprise. Um... I think the Judas Priest guitar solo was from Victim of Changes. It sounded like it. I'm almost positive that was Victims of Victim of Changes. No, 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 no. Maybe I'm wrong. I could be wrong. I'm almost positive that was Victim of Changes. Anyway, um, <laughs> I need to think about this. I, I, <laughs> I don't know how this is gonna go. Um. Let me think about it. Let, let me let me let me really think about this for a little bit. Um, I'll see you in the review and we'll talk about it. Well, there you go, folks. That was Bill McClintock with a mashup of uh, well, there was more than just Metallica and Huey Lewis in the news. We got some we had some Megadeth in there and we had some Judas Priest in there. But the name of the the name of the video is James Hetfield in the news with Hip to Be the Sandman. Uh, this was a request from Lynx R Us. Okay, um, I thought about it. There's a lot of factors I had to think about. Here. So I thought about everything. I came up with a score, and uh, I'll I'll give you my reasons why. I, I promise. When when I do, I think it'll all make sense. On a scale of one to ten, I'm gonna give that an eight point six. Yep. 8.6, I feel good about that score. Let me tell you why. Why? Okay, um. <laughs> just on creativity alone. Just on creativity alone, the idea of taking a Metallica song and mashing it up with a Huey Lewis and the News song, that's pretty creative. I mean, I, I would never have thought of, of doing that. Never in a million years. What I thought of doing that. Very original idea, very uh, interesting matchup. I, like I said, I would never have thought of putting those two together. So creativity alone is, it's very high. Very, very high. Um, on top of that execution. Now listen, I, I, I heard, I heard the speed up in the vocals. I, I, I caught on to that. You know, it, it's kind of hard to hide that, but I mean, it was pretty obvious. <laughs> but listen, when you want to have a mashup lineup, mashups are tricky because you, you you have to do some manipulation here and there. And sometimes the manipulation, honestly, can be something as just as simple as doing a little bit of speed correction. And we're not talking about a ton. We're talking about sometimes just a little touch and that's all you need you know, slow down the, the vocals or slow down the music by like four beats per minute. That's not a bad change. It's not a huge change. It's not a drastic change. It's very, very hard to notice. So what he did, I, I'm guessing he probably sped up the vocals about 10 to 12 beats per minute. Um, it was noticeable, like you, you could hear it, but here's the thing, maybe he did some picture, maybe he did also did some pitch correction or He's using a program that doesn't affect the pitch and only affects the speed, which is the best way to go. Um, but he had to adjust the vocals slightly to fit in with the music. And now listen, the end result is undeniable. It lined up perfectly. Like it, it was almost like it was meant to be. It, it was frightening. It was so shocking to hear James' vocals over Huey Lewis in the news. That was quite the shock and it it elicited many laughs from me <laughs> i was i was laughing quite a bit through this because i just i was like oh my god not because i necessarily found it funny but because i was thoroughly entertained and amused by how well put together this was it wasn't really all that funny if i'm being honest but it was so well done and it was so put well put together I got a great amount of amusement from it, and I ended up laughing because of it. So, um, the addition of those other solos, like like putting the guitar solo from P Cells in there, that was interesting. I dug that. I, I thought that was a great addition. I, I didn't see that coming. Now, the Judas Priest solo, I'm 
I recognize it, I think. I, I, I'm almost positive that guitar solo came from Victim of Changes. You imbecile! You bloated idiot! But I'm not 100% sure about that. Uh, I did not go back and listen to it again to verify. So if somebody in the comments can tell me where that solo, that, that little guitar solo snippet that we heard, what Juice Priest song was that? My gut is telling me Victim of Changes, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, I love that song, by the way, Victim of Changes. I, I still think that is like the masterpiece of Judas Priest. I think that is like the best song they ever wrote. Fantastic song. And to hear uh, Rob Halford sing it is phenomenal. I, I don't know if he still sings it or not. I don't know if they still do. But uh, I remember when I heard uh, Unleashed in the East and I heard them do that song. I was, I was, when I heard that, I was already a Judas Priest fan. But when I heard Unleashed in the East and they did Victim of Changes, I was sold on Rob Halford being an amazing vocalist. So if you have never heard him do that before, if you've never heard Rob Halford sing Victim of Changes, I highly recommend going and listening to the Unleashed in the East uh, live rendition of it. Um, anyway, uh, now this mashup, this mashup, creative, well-executed, clean, creative, um, and overall, very entertaining. Um, it made me laugh, it made me think, it made me analyze, and it made me appreciate everything I just talked about. So, um, Bill McClintock did a great job on this mashup, without question, and that is why I am giving it the great score of 8.6. Now, I know there may be new people to the channel right now, there may be new people coming and seeing this video because they're big Bill McClintock fans, and They've never seen me or they've never seen this channel before. So to all those new people, welcome. Welcome to the channel. Uh, you may be a little confused on what 8.6 is. That's okay. That's okay. I have the solution for you. Scroll down a little bit. Just scroll down in the video. I'll wait. I'll wait for you. Just keep on scrolling down a little bit there. Now, you're, you, you, you see that thing there that says scoring system chart? Yeah, that's what you're looking for. I want you to look where it says 8.0 to 8.9. Right next to that, what does it say? It says great. Just remember, eight is great. If you're getting an eight point anything, you're getting a great score. Now there are many different, you know, uh, different levels of greatness, but this, you know, getting an 8.6, it, it's above average, it's above the middle. So yeah, I mean, this definitely was a great job. I absolutely appreciate everything that Bill put into this. Um, I I need to hear more from this guy. I see. I wonder what else he's got. I, I I've seen a few other requests in the queue. I I think I saw like a James Brown and Motley Crue mashup. Yeah, Motley Brown. I got girls. Okay, that ought to be interesting. Slipknot and the B 52s Slip Shack. Oh God, I can only imagine. Uh, let's see what else. Uh, God, who, who else do I have from him in here? That's it. That's all I got. Um, well, that should be interesting hearing those. I'm looking forward to those, especially that Motley Crue and James Brown one. That would be really interesting. Anyway, um, I digress. 8.6 is where we're at. It's a great score. I feel good giving that score, and that is where we're going to stay. So, 8.6, final score. I have spoken. Well, that's going to do it for this edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. Hope you all enjoyed the show. Hopefully, I was able to entertain you. If I was able to put a smile on your face and brighten your day, then I did my job, and I'm so glad I could do it. If you guys feel like joining the fan base, go ahead and click on that button down there. If you guys want to like the video, go ahead and like the video. If you guys want to ring the bell, go ahead and ring the bell. It honestly doesn't make any difference at all to me, but if you guys feel like doing these things, then by all means, feel free to do so. Well, that's going to do it for tonight, folks. Thank you very much for watching. And as always, this is David Heretic signing off, reminding you to stay fabulous and support each other. Later. Peace.